was brought in on assault charges. I'm shocked. Jake instigated the fight. Greeley, really, I'm not going to represent your husband. Here. You're kidding me, right? Of course he's not. Father hates me. Are you okay? Well, the accommodations weren't exactly five-star, but I made it through the night. Dad, Dad, please. Can't you put aside your feelings just once? David needs your help. There's someone else who needs my help a lot more. Oh, my God. Can we forget about Erica for one second? Uh, Greenlee, it's okay. No, it's not, really. No, no. look, I know you're trying to protect me, and I love you for it, but if your father doesn't want to represent me, that's his prerogative. I know. I know, and I'm sorry. I just... There's nothing you can do for Erica if you don't know where she is, and David has a problem that you can fix right now. Actually, there's been some movement with regards to Erica. What do you mean? I called her. I left a message saying that if she wasn't back here by the time Jake and Amanda's wedding was scheduled, that I was going to come down there and find her. And you know how she hates an ultimatum. Excuse me, I need to take this. Montgomery. Um, look, can I, can I please just have just one minute with my wife? Make it quick. What the hell was that? I know, I know, I'm a little edgy. It just feels like I can't turn around without bumping into Erica's hey, ghost. Well, that proves my point. You really need to skip this wedding. No. Greenlee, you have to know that people are going to bring Erica. I'll deal with it. You mean like you did just now? I'm a bridesmaid, David. Think how that would look. All right. Look, just, just promise me, promise me you're going to be all right. I promise. Will you? Look, don't, don't worry about me, okay? I'll figure something out. I always do. I don't want you to worry about anything. Don't worry about your father. Most of all, don't worry about Erica. Do I look right?